Hey guys! So today I decided that I'm going to film a haul. It's a few things that I've bought over the last about month or so. so it's a bit collective, so I figured we'll just get right into it. We'll actually start with what's on my head right here. I got a new beanie. It's grey. It's adorable. I'm in love with it. I already have a mint one, which happens to be right here. I only really like the Neff beanies, you know, stereotypical girl but I'm in love with this gray heather type one. I got it because I was supposed to be going to New York, but things came up and I didn't. And, you know, with the weather being middle of winter, it's freaking freezing and I'll be outside all day, so I figured a new beanie would be perfect, and I'm just completely in love with it. The next is actually the shirt that I'm wearing. So I got this shirt from Hot Topic, and it's just supposed to look like a rib cage on a skeleton. You have no clue how uncomfortable that position just was. So when I was at Hot Topic and I got this tank top, I also got another shirt because, you know, they were buy one get one half, as Hot Topic always does. So I got this. It says, All Monsters Are Human. It's from American Horror Story Freak Show. And I'm going to be perfectly honest with you guys, I have not watched the majority of Freak Show. I actually only saw the first episode, but I love Coven, but I'm a scaredy cat. That's putting it gently. So I was supposed to be watching all of Freak Show with my best friend, but Casey has this terrible habit of saying that she's going to watch a show with me and then watching it all herself. So that happened. So I do fully intend to watch it all whenever Casey has a day that she's willing to watch it with me, but I'm too much of a scaredy cat to watch it myself, so there's that. So when I went to Express, I got a bunch of camis, way too many to actually show, and ironically enough, they all happen to be in the laundry right now, because today is chore day, and that means laundry's in, and I should have thought of the fact that I was filming this before we put laundry in, but what can you do? Yes, I wash them all before I wear them, just because they're more comfortable that way, but a bunch of black camis, white camis, some colored, not really many colored, mostly just black and white, but I got jewelry there too. I got this adorable bracelet. I was checking out, and I saw it at the registers, and it was just so cute, and I couldn't say no. It has a little buckle on it right there. And it's so cute, and I love it. But since it was buy one, get one half, I had to get something else, because I always fall into that trap. So I got this necklace. I think it's just the cutest thing ever. And yeah, they're adorable. I love Express. I love their jewelry. Their jewelry is affordable enough. And it doesn't turn my skin green, which is why I'm willing to pay a little more than Forever 21 prices for it, because it doesn't turn my skin green. I have very sensitive skin. While we're on the topic of jewelry, so I actually bought some jewelry off eBay. If you guys watch Candace Does Makeup here on YouTube, she has this adorable necklace. And it literally looks like the top of the Marc Jacobs Daisy perfume that I have right here. It literally looks just like the top of this. And so I messaged her, and I asked her where she got it, because it's super cute. And she gave me a link to find it on eBay, and I bought it, and it's so cute. And it was only like $2, and I'm absolutely in love with it. So thank you, Candice. And I will actually link her channel down below, because she's awesome, and you guys should check her out. So, I ordered online from American Eagle, because I fall to this consumerism economy. I'm actually wearing a pair of their jeggings right now. They're just the high-rise jeggings in the medium destroy wash. I love them. I love jeggings. I love destroyed jeggings. I love them. So these are quite possibly the softest jeggings that I've ever found. And I'm obsessed. Also, I have to order online from American Eagle because I need a short length and they don't carry those in stores really anymore, especially in the jeggings, so I need to order them online. So this one is the AEO Denim X High Rise. They're so comfortable. I'm obsessed with these. It says they have Lycra in them. Well, I'm obsessed with them. I haven't even worn them yet. But just like, oh my god, I wish you guys could feel them through the camera. They're the softest things I've ever felt in my life. Like, I'm obsessed with these. I have a pair of high rise jeggings in the Dark Destroy wash. Because I love jeggings. I love destroyed jeggings. As my TV starts making noise. And, literally, my third pair of these. Just basic, high-rise, dark wash jeggings. Literally third pair. It's pretty unhealthy how many of these exact ones I have. I don't have a problem, I swear! 
So I was checking out their clearance section because they had 60% off clearance. And I got this sweater. It ended up only being like six bucks, something ridiculous like that. And it's so soft. And I just, I love it. It's very, very sheer. But I think it'd be nice, like, come springtime, just like over a tank top kind of thing. I also ordered a t shirt when I ordered them. And it didn't come in with the sweater and it didn't come in with the jeggings. I did not get a separate email that was being sent separately. So I don't know what's going on with that, but I'm trying to find that out. So I went to Target, and I spent exorbitant amounts of money. But I only really got one thing that's haul worthy. The rest was all food. I bought a lot of food. I got these shorts. They're from Exhilaration. And I just, I couldn't say no to the print. It was the cutest thing that I've ever seen. I love gray. I love all gray everything. And the little tribal print, I could not say no. And I spent much longer than I should have trying to find something else to buy. Because it was buy one, get one half off. I didn't buy anything else. It was the first time that I did it. Like, go me. Can we just have a moment of silence for my bank account, though, please? Oh, guys, I got coffee, too, at Starbucks. Or Target. Or Starbucks coffee at Target. So, I went shopping at Kohl's, because, as you guys may know, I work there. So, me and my coworker went shopping there together after work. I got... went shopping in the clearance. I was a good girl. I got this mini skirt. It's actually from the Awesomeness TV line that they have at Kohl's. So I've been eyeing this skirt since we first got it because it's gray and purple. And, um, hi, gray and purple. But yes. So since it was on clearance, I finally got it. And I'm in love with it. And it's so soft. And I'm so excited. And then I got a crop top. It is this mint colored one. And it is so adorable. And I love it, and I ended up only paying like $4 for it or something ridiculous like that. So that's a win in my book. Okay, so I got something that's completely not me, and I don't know why I got it, but I saw it, and I just instantly said that I needed it. So I got this sweater. It's completely 90s. It's, you know, cut off. It's like sweatshirt material. It says dare on it. I went someplace, Stephen. I'm ashamed to admit I went. I went to Abercrombie. I was about to show you guys the sweater that I bought, but then I realized that I wore it to work yesterday, so it also ended up in the laundry. I got socks! I originally thought they were just going to be like knee highs, like boot socks, but when I actually looked at how long they were, they start here and they go all the way to here. The only reason I actually went in there was because I have an unhealthy addiction to jeggings and I wanted a pair. So I got one. I actually really love Hollister jeggings, so I figured since the Abercrombie ones are made by the same company, they must be the same quality. So I got a pair of Abercrombie jeggings because they were on sale. I think it was like $30 a piece, and that smell is so overwhelming still. I bought them, how long ago now? Four or five days ago? Still smell like they're in the store. I have a problem. It's so cute with the geo pattern. And I don't know if you can tell, but now you can. The M is glittery. Oh my god, it's so cute. I have a problem with mugs. And I went to Ulta today because our Ulta just got the HD blushes in. And I've been checking weekly to see if they have taupe in stock. And they still have it. And I still want it. And I'm going to cut someone if I can't get it. But, I mean, I got the blush in soft spoken. I went to the pink store. And I bought underwear, which I'm not going to show because that's awkward. And I bought, and already wore, so they look worn, but black leggings. I actually went to work yesterday with the gray sweater from Abercrombie that I mentioned, so go me. These ones somehow missed the laundry. YOLO. Honestly, I had a $15 secret rewards, and I was going to just buy the, what are they called, the extreme ones? Whatever, the ultimate. That's what they're called, the ultimate ones. And then I looked at the price tag, and they were $55, and these were $35. So I'd rather get $15 off of $35 leggings and only pay $20, rather than still pay $30. Did I do that math right? No, it would be $40. Math is clearly not my strong suit. Went to Bath & Body. Bought some candles. Two for $24 and 25% off. I needed that. I got Papaya Sunrise. Brazilian Blue Waters. Maybe if I make my room smell like spring, 
some of the snow outside will melt. The Happy Sunshine and Green Daisies, which um, smells just like a freshly cut lawn, by the way. And Amazon Falls, which I actually have another one of that I'm burning right now, but you guys can't tell because it's right above my head. And finally, last, but most certainly not least, in fact, it's quite possibly my favorite purchase. If you follow me on Twitter or on Instagram, you already know about it, but I got Doc Martens, and they kill my feet. They are so ridiculously painful because I still need to break them in. But, oh my god, they're so pretty. They're so pretty. They're the 1460 women's. Now, I heard that they run pretty big, so you need to size down. They don't have half sizes. That's the biggest issue. I'm a six and a half, so I got a size six in these. And, I mean, everything that I've read says that when you go up a size, they don't change the width or the height or anything like that. It's just the length of the shoe. So I'm definitely good with a six for the length. The only problem is, and I've heard this from a lot, that right here, where like the tongue meets the rest of the shoe, that that digs in, and oh my god, does that dig in. Like, I literally had my feet bleeding the first day that I tried to wear them to break them in. That was just wearing them around the house. Like, it, it was bad. Like, my toes go numb when I wear them. And I wear them with fuzzy socks and normal socks. One day I tried them with two fuzzy socks and it wasn't too bad. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put them on before I go to bed one night and just wear them to bed and pray that that breaks them in because they're so pretty. I wore them today actually when I was going to the mall and then at the last minute right before my ride got here I decided no my feet are numb I'm changing my shoes. Probably a good decision given how late I was out. But oh my gosh they're so pretty. Oh and they're in the smooth leather if anyone was wondering and I'm completely in love and I got a really good deal on them too actually. I got them for $93 so when they're normally $125 so go me bargain hunter. Alright guys, so I also ordered some makeup from Nordstrom and Sephora, but it's not in yet. So if you guys want to see that when it comes in, let me know, and as soon as that comes in the mail, I will film that video if you guys want it. And yes, thank you so much for watching guys. Please remember if you like this video to subscribe, that way you'll be notified of all my new videos. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it, and I will see you next time. Bye!